Hi guys, welcome back to Yorkshire Car Restorations. Today, we're gonna to be working on a Porsche Carrera 911. Now, this is a 1984 car. This is a serious project. This is gonna be wider, longer than original. Basically, it's gonna be a 911 ST, um, the classic ST. So, let's grab some tools and let's crack on. Right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the parts we've been supplied for this car. Now, there's a lot more than boxes and boxes. Um, but this car is gonna be extended at the front, longer bonnet, longer wings, everything like that. It's having sills, inner sills, outer sills, floor sections, you name it, big flared arches. So we're gonna have a quick look at them now, and then we're gonna to set to taking the car apart. Right, so the first thing you probably noticed out of those parts are the wings. Now, they are um, pattern parts and replacement parts, but the difference is, and they are much longer. And that's because the front end of this car is going to be a lot longer than original. A longer bonnet, different bumpers, new wings. We're even gonna cut these new, brand new wings up and put flared arches on. Right, so even these arches, we're gonna be cutting these brand new arches up because it's gonna have flared arches. So, somewhere around about there. Um, as you can see, it really does add a lot of beef to the side of these cars. I mean, it, they do, they're, they're actually even a nice panel. They're made of, um, how many guess that's 18 gauge? Um, so it's, it's, it's good steel and um, what we're going to do is we're going to basically mark these up, cut them out, butt weld them up um, and she's got wider arches. Right, so to match the front flared arches, there's also flared arches that are going on the rear as well. Now, these are, at some point in its life, it's had brand new rear quarters. Um, we have cut across the other side to do an investigation panel, just to see, well, we'll show you that later, just to see what kind of metal is underneath there. And there is quite a bit of fabricating, but that's what we're here for. Uh, right, these rear arches, Again, they do add quite a bit of width. Now, this is about where they're situated. And as you can see, there's a lot of width on there. It's gonna be beautiful.
Right, now we do also have front bumper. Now, this is fiberglass, uh, as they all are. Um, we won't be able to offer this up because it's still got the original bumper on, but we'll have a quick look. Now, this won't offer up because the bumper's in the way, but I think we can kind of get the gist of what it's going to look like. Now, as we know, this, this front end is going to be further out here. It's good. I think there's about six, eight inches length difference in the front end. Um, and there are two huge panels that go in here and the bottom to extend the front of this so that it can actually, everything can be mounted a little bit further forward. Um, but that's the bumper, the bonnet, uh, which is obviously longer. The front um, wings, which again, we're going to flare as well as the rear arches. Um, and there's a whole host of little bits that go with it that we'll run through now. Right, so there's a million parts in this box. Um, we've obviously got, these are the panels that are actually going on the front end to extend the front of the car. That's one of them. And this one's the other. Right, now the, these are called uh, kidney pots or um, kidney panels, whatever you like to call them. These are the slightly later ones um, that extend a little bit further forward and they include the jacking points in them as well. I um, can't show you with this one, but this basically goes here. Now this is underneath um, the sill section. So the sills have got to come off. Um, this quarter has got to come off. Now how we do that, we haven't figured that out yet. Reason being because this is an aftermarket rear quarter. Now, we don't know whether they're spot welded or just welded or just seamed on there. So we've got to investigate that, but we do have to get in there to put these on and the new jacking points. Uh, these are the rear end sections on the corners. Uh, again, they're fiberglass. No idea what's in them. Um, ah, indicator units. So these are new indicator units. I'm going to guess these are for the rear. Right, these are the new side steps. Not side steps. Side sill protectors. They go on there. That's left and right. Left and right even. Obviously, lens covers all the way around. Rubbers. These. And a whole host of boxes and I don't even know what's in here, look. There go. Brackets and that's the new uh, for the bonnet, uh, the new the new hinge, the new hinges and the new um, lock. I'm gonna guess this has gotta be somewhat similar because it's in a similar box. Yep, same again. More rubbers. Uh, no, nah, I don't know what these are. These are... Ah, these are the chrome over chrome overriders <laughs> for the bumpers. And in here, let's open one of those packets, look. There we go. Get that. Beautiful. Put that back in the box. No idea what that is. We'll have a look at that later. And again, we've just got things like brackets, mounting brackets for the extenders, ah, just about everything you could imagine. And some bits of foam. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, most of these parts we don't need immediately. They're just gonna go back in the box. But what we're gonna do first is we're gonna start 
We have investigated that side just so we know what we needed to order, inner sills, outer sills, things like that, floor sections. We have got the outer sills on the way. We've also got the inner sills on the way. We've also got the floor sill section on its way as well, as well as these corners, um, because there is quite a lot of work underneath there that needs doing as well. Um, we will get it on the ramp and show you those, those corners as well, so you can see what kind of repair we need to do underneath there. Um, but the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start to strip the car um, wings, bonnets, absolutely everything, this roof bar, um, the lot, it all needs to come off so we can convert this car and do all the structural work for a brand new engine. Now we are going to clean that engine bay up as well to show that nice engine off. 